Every day, more businesses are transitioning their fleets to EVs. And I'm not just talking about swapping polluting old diesels for new electric vans and trucks. No, I'm talking about the cars used by their employees. And crucially, all those being offered as a benefit through schemes like salary sacrifice. But when I hear salary sacrifice, well, to me it sounds like I'm giving something up. Well, I'm joined today by Paul Gilshin from Tusker, the UK's largest salary sacrifice benefits provider, who's about to explain to us when it comes to salary sacrifice, it's not about what you give up, it's about what you gain. And to have that explained to me, and thankfully I'm joined by Paul. Thank, uh, welcome, Paul. Uh, can you explain what Tusker does then to facilitate employees uh, getting salary sacrifice schemes going? Yeah, sure. Uh, we, we offer a complete car subscription service. So uh, subscription has been growing across the UK, so think things like Sky TV, Amazon Prime, Netflix. Um, you pay one fixed amount each month and you get access to all that entertainment. But well, we do the same for cars, the Netflix for cars. Right. But we happen to do that through uh, businesses. So we work with employers um, so that they can offer a car benefit to their employees. Um, and then that's the complete car subscription service from Tusker. Right, and so what does that cover then from the point of view, if, I, if I'm an employee of a company and that, they run that scheme, what do I get then? I get a, I get a car, presumably, an electric car. Yeah, yes, right. you definitely get a car. That's the, that's the one main <laughs> that's thing the main that you thing. get. Yes, you get a car. So um, for the fixed monthly amount, and the fixed monthly amount is really important because people can plan their budget, so it doesn't change each month. Um, you get a brand new car, which is great, and then everything's included. So we, we call it, you just have to add juice. So insurance is included, MOT, breakdown cover, accident management, repairs, uh, replacement windscreens and replacement wheels. Right. Um, so everything to get you on the road. Right, and that's all included. So the only thing you've got to think, uh, worry about other than that is the electricity that makes them run. First of all, what we do is we think, as Tusker, we think that driving electric should be cheaper than driving a petrol or diesel car. Well, actually through Tusker it is. Right. Um, so we're accessing, we're allowing more people in the UK to uh, access affordable electric vehicles than ever before. Because I mean, once you, you know, that's always the argument is you have to pay for the car, which are generally more expensive. Yeah. But once you've got it, the actual running costs are cheaper. I mean, I know from experience, you know, you, you don't spend as much running your car. Much lower and, you know, particularly the cost of fuel at the moment going up uh, significantly. Yeah, so it's the running costs much lower than driving electric, but also because other products in the marketplace, the, you're right, the, the entry cost is higher um, for, um, for electric, whereas we're the reverse because there's savings associated with electric uh, vehicles through uh, salary sacrifice. Right. And are things like, if, you, if you're, this is a thing I've never even thought about, but if you're, you a, approach an, an insurance company as an individual, there's a set amount. But if you approach as a business and you say we want you to insure a thousand cars, is there a, a, a benefit in, in that terms? That yeah, you so, do get so, a bit of a cheaper deal. So because of our scale, um, we've got over 20,000 cars on the road. We've put over nearly 70,000 cars on the road in, uh, in over the years. We work with manufacturers, insurance, um, repairers to make sure that everything is within that cost is really affordable so that the, the, the final cost that the driver gets is as cheap as it possibly can be. That is, that is a really encouraging thing. And I think um, one of the things that we see is it's not just about the affordability. The top reason why um, our drivers love the product is that complete car subscription service. The fact that everything's included. So you don't have to worry about insurance. You don't have to worry about your MOT. You don't have to worry if you have a prang and you, there's a repair. Everything's included within that fixed monthly cost. Yeah, that does make a big difference. I mean, like, there's a, you know, just from the point of view of simplicity, if, not, if nothing else. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's also, you know, just peace of mind. Um, they don't have to worry about it because there's a lot of management in uh, running a car. So the team at Tusker take care of all of that for you and communicate when your MOT is coming up, uh, work with your insurance, um, so everything's covered. So what is salary sacrifice and why does it work so well with EVs? Salary sacrifice has been around for years, you know, things like pensions, childcare vouchers, cycle to work schemes. It just happens that we do it through cars. Um, and uh, it works as a benefit for employees and employers love it because it helps retain staff. And you basically take, um, you get to offset some of your salary from your gross and um, you don't pay uh, tax on that. And then you get offered a new car as a benefit. Um, that's basically how it works and there's lots of savings because we work with all manufacturers and uh, insurance companies and um, uh, repair companies to make sure that we get the best offering for our drivers. And the second point uh, you asked there was why is it uh, best for EVs? Well, 
Solar Sacrifice is set up um, to favour ULEVs, ultra low emission vehicles, and obviously they include EVs. So the biggest savings are for electric vehicles um, because the government are trying to drive as many people into electric cars as possible, as quickly and, and as possible, and to get that uptake increasing. Um, and Salary Sacrifice allows that. So it makes the electric vehicle cheaper than its diesel or petrol equivalent. And that is really interesting that, 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 that we've already at that stage, because there was a long period of time when, regardless of how I tried to argue it, an electric car was a lot more expensive than yeah. a petrol or diesel one, and even if the running costs are less. But what, what we seem to have entered a period now where that initial choice is, well, why don't you just get the cheaper one? Forget what makes it work, yeah. <laughs> just get the cheaper one. So Tusker were the first to offer salary sacrifice for cars, is that right? Yeah, we were the first uh, in 2008. Um, first company to offer it to other companies. And so we've been doing it since 2008. Uh, we're the biggest in the UK, and I think certainly the, the most experienced. We provide the benefit for NHS trusts, councils, uh, large corporates like British Airways, EDF Energy, AstraZeneca, Roche, and then smaller companies as well. So it's not always easy understanding salary sacrifice. So how do you ensure that both the drivers and the, and the customer organisations have all the information they need? Yeah, I think it can be complicated. Our goal is to make it really simple for employees to talk in layman's terms about exactly what you're getting. You know, someone's phoning up to get a car from us. There's a lot that's going on there. What type of car, what fuel, the size, and then also how the savings work and how it's taken from their salary. So we've got a dedicated engagement team that just talk to drivers about everything that we've just mentioned, you know, from the cost, the saving, the type of cars, and then um, that really gives the driver assurances and makes, lets them understand what's, um, what's going to happen. Equally, um, we have a, another dedicated team in customer excellence that look at everything that could happen in life with your car. So helping you with insurance, MOT, servicing, always at the end of, a, uh, end of the call, bespoke to each of our customers to make sure that they get the best service from us. So who are your kind of typical drivers? Are they company car drivers? No, they're not. Actually, more, more the opposite. It's people that haven't had access to a company car um, through, their, through, through their salary, uh, through their package. Um, it's majority is 20% taxpayers. It's, it's, it's nurses, it's uh, managers, it's accountants, um, it's fire brigade workers, right across uh, the UK. Um, and what we find is that from our research, is that this is the first time, the majority of, the, uh, of our drivers, the first time that they've ever been in a brand new car. Right. So it's not just about electric, it's about it's the first time that they've been in a new car. And that's important to us because we're driving people from older cars, the average age that they leave is about eight years, from older cars which are uh, dirtier, maybe not as safe, into brand new, cleaner, greener, safer cars. Um, and that really works for employers as well because they know that they've got a duty of care to their, uh, to their employees, um, so moving them to safer environments as well. So a lot of companies talk about being green, but what, what makes Tusker different? We've been carbon neutral since 2010. Um, we now offset more emissions than we put on, so actually we were net negative. Right. Um, we've offset over 250,000 tonnes of carbon um, over the last 10 years. Um, we were one of the founding members of uh, the EV100, which is a group of companies that are working together to accelerate uh, the, uh, the road to zero and to get more people driving electric. So all of those companies with EV100 have committed to their fleet being fully electric by uh, 2030. Right. Um, and we are well ahead of that curve already. Um, so I think we'll bring that uh, target forward. And actually, it's not a target for me, it's more a responsibility. You know, we firmly believe that, more, you know, that we want to get everybody in the UK uh, driving electric. So our, our fleet currently is about 40% electric. If we put it on our order bank, we'll be 50% uh, electric of those, of those 20,000 uh, vehicles that are on the road. So Paul, where can people find out more about your service? Uh, quite simply, they can email us at hello at tuskerdirect.com. They can go to the website, tuskercars.com, where there's loads of information for employees and employers. Um, or they can give us a ring on 0333 400 10 10. That is, I'm very impressed that you've remembered the number. Thank so you so much. Thank you so much, Paul. That is brilliant. And as, uh, as always, all the links to uh, Tusco are in the show notes beneath this video. Uh, that's all we've got time for. Please do subscribe to uh, Fully Charged Plus. Loads of really interesting shows coming up, very much like this one. Re just really interesting stuff that we learn on this channel. So that's it. As always, if you have been, thank you for watching.